hi hi and welcome to roulette's play left alone this is a game that was actually gifted to me by one of the high rollers so it seemed rude not to play it and it's a psychological horror built on the unity engine and that's all i know <laughs> i know that it's 3d and i know it's not supposed to be super long just to give you guys some full disclosure here, if it looks like I know what I'm doing for a reasonable chunk of this, it's because I do. I actually recorded this once and something happened to OBS, which is the uh, program I use to record things, and it crashed and did not save the mp4 so i'm having to record it again the commentary you'll be hearing will be a mix of new commentary from my second play but mostly it'll be the f commentary from the original just so you guys know all right so let's go ahead and get started you play as Joel Dent, former United States Marine Corps Special Forces, father of two, and recent divorcee. He served as 12 years- holy crap, the exposition is just- <laughs> uh, He served for 12 years as one of the highest ranking officers and worked his way to captain before being discharged after suffering massive head trauma on duty. Huh. Joel was highly regarded as one of the best company grade officers and received the highest commendation, the Medal of Honor, for his undeniable bravery while on Operation Tom Clancy. <laughs> he spent 18 months in a medically induced coma. Doctors said the odds are extremely low that he will ever wake again. Despite this, his two former squad mates, Mike and good old Philly, visited almost every day and watched him make a full physical recovery over the next year. Joel still suffers occasional disorientation and blackouts which he has regular checkups for um so is it tldr we're still in a coma or tldr it's all in our head <laughs> joel was left having to build a new life for himself in a new city in a job he doesn't like and without the comfort of his children and wife who left him for a new man in new york while he was still in a coma wow what a bitch <laughs> Joel hasn't seen his best friends for the last six months as they were on deployment. They arranged to meet up for a weekend away on a back-to-basics fishing trip to reminisce about the old days. Ah, remember all those people we killed and blew up? Yeah, good times. Good times. They arranged a meet off a hiking trail in the forests of Wisconsin, which is a good traveling distance for all three of them. <laughs> Compromise when nobody's happy. <laughs> When families lay broken, a bond between friends gets stronger. In the face of adversity, use the light to guide you. Go towards the light, Carolyn. Isolated from your comforts, every man has his breaking point. Believe only half of what you see and none of what you hear. Not none, none of what you How scary it would be if the voice inside your head stopped working. I'll never know what that's like. The voice inside my head keeps going. And then I voice it out loud for you guys. <laughs> this is pretty. It's like, um, Ethan Carter pretty. Uh, press E to view text message. Hey, Joel, can't wait to see you tomorrow. It's been so long. Hey, man, yes. It will be so nice to get away from here. Need a break with the guys. We've gone fishing. We'll be back soon. Follow the trail to the camp. Maybe collect some sticks and rocks to build our campfire. Ten of each should do. See you soon. All right. Well, let's go uh, meet our bro-man bros. The bro -ious. Um, Should we be able to, like, see the sticks and rocks and stuff? Do they have, like, a little glow to them? That look like a stick. I guess it's not a stick. Nature's full of sticks, and I can't find a single stick? There's a pianist somewhere in this forest. <laughs> Practicing his craft away from it all. He just couldn't take... Those damned kids interrupting him at the drugstore. <laughs> or, I guess it's more like a retail store, right? Like, places like Macy's will sometimes have piano players for absolutely no reason at all, except that they want to seem more elegant than they are. <laughs> Is that a stick? Surely that's a stick. There we go. I want a rock and stick all night. <laughs> Seriously, there are so many rocks and sticks just right by the campfire, though. <laughs> It's almost like they were spawned here. Why did you guys need me to gather up anything? There are plenty of sticks just like right here. All right, got all the rocks I need. Sticks, ah, there we go. Got wood. <laughs> oh, okay. Just boom, subtly fireplace. Delighta and flick. 
Um, here you go, guys. I'm the best. Um, now what? <laughs> oh, another text message. Make sure to set up your tent and have a drink of water if you're feeling thirsty after the walk. Won't be long. Okay. Set up my tent. Gotta... Oh, okay. Poof. Suddenly tent. All right. I just had to be a special snowflake with my red bag. Um, I'm gonna rifle through your stuff, guys. What's that? Canteen of some sort? Have a drink. Okay, that was a mistake. I got drugged. Oh, they drugged me. Why did my friends drug me? I don't understand. I thought they were my... Oh, Bigfoot. <laughs> Two hours later, after Bigfoot has had his way with my unconsciousness. So, uh, if you woke up one day and your butt hurt, uh, would you tell anybody? No? You want to go camping? <laughs> Help, Joel, we came across this abandoned school and couldn't resist taking a look because we're assholes. The gate and door were open. The door locked at us and the lights have gone out. Come get us out. Joel, help us out, man. What are you doing? I don't think we're alone in here. Man, it's clearly not in a real emergency. Otherwise, there would have been, like, eh, some emojis involved, you know? Okay, well, I really don't want to proceed forward. So, can I just wait here for them to come back? <sighs> I guess that wouldn't make me a very good friend, would it? <laughs> I'm gonna be killed by an axe murderer. I'm gonna be killed by an axe murderer. Fuck you, Al! <laughs> I don't see the point of using this flashlight because it doesn't make anything brighter. What the? Okay. Power plant key code. Nine, seven, and some change. It's a questionable half of a map. All right, okay, forest sounds. If you could just calm right the fuck down, wind, and everything else. Oh, what's the speed limit? Only 10 kilometers per hour. I have no idea what that is because I'm American. Huh? I'm, I'm sorry, could you translate that sign into American for me? 10 tons. I don't think we can cross this bridge. <laughs> oh. Can't get into this bus at all. Is there anything on the ground around this bus? Oop, that's an invisible wall. Okay, sorry. <laughs> well, this couldn't have been here that long because the battery still works in the vehicle, right? Okay. That's just weird piles of bricks, I guess. Alright, let's head down. Um, what does this say? School in session. Caution pedestrians. No passing. 10 kilometers per hour. Fines are doubled for being a jackass in this area. School bus stop ahead. Um, I think that's the way I'm supposed to go, maybe? I don't fucking know. Oh, fuck. No, I don't want to go towards goddamn Sleepy Hollow bullshit. Oh, fuck Sleepy Hollow Bridge. Low bridge ahead. Stop. So many crashed buses. Well, at least we can't cross it. Fuck everything about the Sleepy Hollow Bridge. What's this way? Random ass cabin? Looks like random ass cabin. Ooh, it's an axe. Can I have the axe? Really? Well, at least we know the axe murderer is currently unarmed. So, you know, we've got that going for us. Okay, I think I'll just carry around this board, even though that axe seemed incredibly more helpful. Especially for opening doors that apparently won't fucking open. Dude has a fucking obsession with collecting signs. There are so many people that are currently have no idea that they're supposed to be you know, wearing eyeglasses or something in this area and that there's no passing and that this is a handicapped access area because dude stole all the signs from it. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of trees and shit. And mist and trees and mist and trees. Hey, another board. I don't know what I need these boards for, but why don't any of these barrels have bottoms?
Unless we can just get in through the... That's bloody. Bloody axe. Bloody saw. Bloody ice box. This seems like a very bad idea. Hey, there's a switch. Like, through there somehow. Hmm. Okay, so we definitely need to find the key. Not in there. Nothing found. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Nothing searched, nothing found. Makes sense to me. Shut up. Use the board to cross. God, so much mist! Fucking Boggy Creek. Yep. Boggy Creek indeed. Hello? Ugh. Can't even begin to tell you how uncomfortable I am with this. Uh, you know, we weren't really that close of friends. Uh, despite the fact that they visited me every damn day, apparently, while I was in a coma for God knows how long. Ugh. Over the course of a year. Even when my wife and child left me. Is that a red light? <laughs> it's a red light. Needs power. Okay. Attention, please keep out. Officer on duty, Sheriff D. Banner. Or Banner. Spelt weird. Contact. I don't care. Official closure issue of Mount High School, Wisconsin. Regret to inform you that the decision has been made to close the school due to exposure to toxic waste. While further investigation is carried out by the Medical Santa Corp. This closure is to be carried out with immediate effect. You may not enter or collect personal belongings, work, or other possessions. Entering the premises is a criminal offense and is a risk to public safety. If you have any inquiries or questions, please contact the department. Sincerely, your Sheriff D. Banner. I don't like being out here by myself. Alone. In the dark. In the night. Or was this the other side of the, uh... A map piece, yay! Batteries, map piece. But no key to that cabin. So I got the other map piece. I guess we'll head back <sighs> and uh, figure out what it says since apparently we can't just look at the map piece. I don't have any steak on me. Um, you can probably go and get uh, something from like a snack bar at the school once I open it. You know, no big deal or risk. Gonna find out someone came over here and broke my boards. <laughs> Sunday was not happy with my home improvements. Oh, wasn't there a cabin here? Oh, there it is. Through the mist and the fucking darkness and everything else. Okay. I don't like the idea of all that I'm having to do in order to just get into a place I don't even want to be in. Okay. 9724. The fucking horn? You are here. Caretaker's hut. That's what that is. A caretaker's hut, allegedly. Hmm. 9724. So I'm gonna remember that. Someone just sitting at the bus stop and they're like, the wheels on the bus go round and round. Honk the horn. Scare roulette. Is this a slender game? So don't know. Just <laughs> Fuck. Me. Fuck you, wolf! Dangerous. Keep out. High voltage. Um. 
Am I supposed to be finding notes or anything? I don't know. I don't know if this is a slender game or not. I don't know if I'm gonna be looking behind me and there's suddenly gonna be some dude just chilling like, hey, what's up, bruh? Heard you like forests and, you know, getting decapitated. How about this? Batteries, okay. In this bucket. I mean, barrel. Whoa! Game, calm down with the frames. Okay. I'm gonna get eaten by a wolf. Nine, seven, two, four, enter. Perfect. Enough. <laughs> oh, the fact that the texture. You can see on the other side, it's completely see-through and backwards on this side. Just in case people wanted to sit in here and look at it in the mirror. You know. <laughs> this guy looks like he's having such a bad time. Oh good, that's probably keys to the cabin I don't want to go to. School grounds, main power. Uh, great, so I'm missing switches? That's weird. Alright, so I saw a switch through the window of the cabin, so I'm guessing there's one there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want more content, and let me know if you guys want me to continue. If you're intrigued, I'm intrigued. I want to know what happened. I don't really appreciate being, you know, spooky, scary skeleton, but... <laughs> Alright. Bye, bye, bye! Oh. Okay. Am I not supposed to go over there? Who's that child?